Meghan Markle was making her first royal event back from maternity leave today but had to dash away because it was feeding time. The Duchess of Sussex was looking effortlessly chic as she stepped out to launch her high street women's workwear range in aid of Smart Works, one of her first patronages. Her workwear capsule collection includes a shirt, trousers, a blazer, dress, and a bag, with an item donated to the charity every time one is bought. It's the first royal engagement for the 38-year-old since she gave birth to baby Archie on May 6. And the former actress donned the collection's jigsaw trousers and Miss Hanana shirts for her visit today paired with 563 pounds Manolo Blahnik pumps and 85 pounds Ralph Lauren belt. In a sweet nod to Princess Diana, she accessorized her outfit with the Princess of Wales bracelet and butterfly earrings. But while she was working for the first time since her maternity leave, motherly duties beckoned her away. At the end of the event, Royal Mum said, I've got to get back to the baby it's feeding time. Earlier in her clothing range launch, she said, since moving to the UK, it has been deeply important to me to meet with communities and organizations on the ground doing meaningful work and to try to do whatever I can to help them amplify their impact. We've demonstrated how we can work collectively to empower each other another layer to this communal success story, that I am so proud to be a part of. Giving an unscripted speech, she added, I think it's really key in this day and age that we remember it's not just about the people you know you're supporting, it's about the people you don't know that you may never know, may never meet. As women, it is 100% our responsibility, I think, to support and uplift each other. To champion each other so we aim to succeed, to not set each other up for failure but instead to really be there rallying round each other and say I want to help you. And you may not ever meet that person but you know when you put on that blazer or that shirt or you carry that tote or put on those trousers and that dress that some other woman on the other side of this country is wearing that piece because you made that purchase. The Duchess quote, not a handout, a handheld accompanies the items that are up for sale which have divided shoppers. Meghan announced the clothing collection, created by Jigsaw, John Lewis and Partners, Marks and Spencer and her designer friend Miss Hananu, in the September issue of Vogue that she guest edited. And she said wanted to pick traditional and quintessential British brands that would resonate with Smart Works clients and so chose John Lewis and MNS, and was drawn to Jigsaw because of an advertising campaign it launched that celebrated Britain's diversity. Nanu is credited with introducing Harry to his future wife via a blind date and she had a VIP seat at the royal wedding. And Meghan praised the clothing as she was complimented by Jigsaw's chief executive, Toby Foreman, who told her, they look fantastic. She replied, thank you, they're very comfortable. The range has already seen a huge tide of popularity, with the John Lewis tote bags, priced at £109, already selling out online in hours. But despite taking a step back from the spotlight during maternity leave, Meghan continued to make headlines. The former actress was seen most recently when she flew to New York to support her friend Serena Williams, snubbing the Queen's invite to Balmoral. Meghan left baby Archie with dad Prince Harry to make the trip, despite a spokeswoman saying the couple were too busy to see the monarch on her Scottish holiday and that their four-month-old son was too young and her trip to the US was on a commercial flight after she and Prince Harry came under fire for flying on a private jet four times in just 11 days over the summer. Mike Tyndall, who is married to the Queen's granddaughter, Zara Tyndall, recently opened up about the Royal Family group chat on WhatsApp. The Royal Family WhatsApp group chat just got bigger. As Meghan Markle unveiled her new capsule clothing collection to benefit her patronage smart works on Thursday, the royal also revealed that she recently joined WhatsApp. As Meghan was introduced to a group women who have benefited from Smart Works, a charity that helps women find employment with coaching tips and professional attire for their job interviews, one of the clients told Meghan that the women still support each other, even after they land new jobs. Paralegal Selam Mingetsu, 28, told the Duchess of Sussex that they have even started a WhatsApp group chat and even invited the royal to join after they took a group photo together. Meghan then told them that she just joined the messaging service and might pop in with a waving hand emoji, according to the Telegraph. 
Now that Megan is using the service, she can join in on the royal family group chat. Mike Tyndall, who is married to the Queen's granddaughter, Zara Tyndall, recently opened up about it, revealing, it's just what you do to try and set up get-togethers and we are going to something that is the same. If you are going to go, are you going to take the kids? Quite a lot of people have family WhatsApp groups. I don't think it's a new revelation, he added. The former rugby star said that the relatable group chat includes some of Zara's royal family members, Zara is cousins with Prince William and Prince Harry. Me, my brother and then a few of Zara's side like her brother Pete and the cousins are on WhatsApp groups, Mike told the Daily Mirror in 2018. Mike said that the royal family group chat is just one of many he's part of on the app, and at times, all the messages can get a bit overwhelming. I wouldn't say we're cutting edge, but it's just easier for some reason on WhatsApp, he said. I'm in about 25,000 groups. You might do it for a get together and just stay on the group, and occasionally people will post. You're scared to leave because you don't want to be seen to be rude. At her launch event on Thursday, Megan said in a moving speech, I just want to thank all of you for being able to be here, for being part of this success story for these women. I think it's really key in this day and age to remember it's not just about the people that you know that you're supporting, it's about the people that you don't know. That you may never know, that you may never meet. As women it is 100% our responsibility, I think, to support and uplift each other, to champion each other as we aim to succeed. To not set each other up for failure but instead to really be there rallying around each other and to say I want to help you. And you may not ever meet that person but you'll know when you put on that blazer or put on that shirt or you carry that tote or put on those trousers or that dress, that some other women on the other side of this country is wearing that piece because you made that purchase.